Hello and welcome back. This is lesson 9 of the general English course for elementary level students using Interchange 1 by Jack C. Richards. Today we're going to start with Unit 2. The title of this unit is What do you do? What do you do? If you already know what does this mean, that would be great. If you don't know, so we are going to talk about jobs, routines and daily schedules in this unit. That means we have two cycles as before and in each, each cycle we will have a, a topic to talk about and discuss. So now before we start with the very first exercise of this unit I'm going to ask you uh, one question or maybe two questions. If you don't answer the first question I will go for the second one. It's a very simple question. Do you have a job at the moment? What is the job? If you don't have a job, tell me about your parents. What do they do? Do they have any jobs? What do they do? Okay, so now pause the video, think about my questions, and once you've finished thinking about the questions, then you can go ahead with this video. Okay, suppose you thought about the questions and now you have the answers. I'm sure your answers vary, like they dif like they are different from one, and like one is different from the other one. Um, so basically, uh, you might say, uh, I am an engineer, or I, you might say, I'm a student, I don't have a job at the moment, or you might say, I'm a doctor. It depends, I'm a shopkeeper, I'm a sales assistant, I am a cashier and so on and so on. If you don't have a job, you can tell me about your parents and you, you say, my father is, uh, like my father does not have a job because he is uh, retired and you can say my mother is a babysitter or a nurse or so on and so on and so on, okay? So now we're going to start with exercise one, which is snapshot. Snapshot is basically an introduction into the unit. Here we have six pop popular part-time jobs in the United States. Um, let me first explain what do you mean by part-time and full-time. Part-time are those jobs that you do, uh, you, you are not going to have it f almost every day from, for example, from 8 until 8, 6 uh, p.m. or so, like something like this. You may do that job uh, once a week, twice a week, or maybe three times a week, but not all the time. So we call these jobs part-time, part-time jobs. So he here we have six part-time jobs in the United States. The first one is a babysitter. Babysitter is someone who takes care of kids and like children when their parents are away or maybe they are at work or somewhere, okay? Fitness instructor is someone who uh, helps people uh, f like to get their bodies into a good shape or for a bit like for a healthier life um, like who helps people exercise in a correct way o office assistant um, is someone who actually provides support in an office okay provides uh, assistance uh, in an office a uh, sales associate is uh, a person who sells things in a retail store like someone who sells things in a retail in a store basically um, social media assistant someone who helps people uh, create um, basically update content on social media like these days we need people who are skilled at social media uh, so that we can promote our products better. And the last one is tutor. Tutor basically means a private teacher who teach like uh, students at home. So these are part-time jobs that people do in the United States. Now the these questions, I want you to think about these questions as well. Which jobs are easy? Which of these jobs or any other jobs that you can think of um, 
Are they difficult? Are they exciting? Boring? Why do you think that way? For example, if you think babysitting is difficult, why do you think so? If it's boring, boring means when you don't like that job, you say this job is boring. But when you like a job, you say it's very exciting or it's exciting. When a job is difficult, it, it's like when a job is hard to, to, be, to be done or there is a lot of work, you say it's difficult. When there is not too much work or it's easy to deal with the things you do at work, you say this job is easy. Okay? So think about these questions. You can pause the video, think, and then you can, you can continue with, this, with my video. There's um, another question. Are these good jobs for students? What are some other part-time jobs? This is a very good question, actually. It says, do you think that these jobs are good for students? Uh, like, so that students can do it part-time? They can continue with their studies, and then they can do this when they are free, or when uh, after school, okay? Do you think... They, uh, are they good or bad? It's up to you. You can un you can pause the video again and answer this question. What are some other part-time jobs? You can think of any other type of jobs um, that you think might be uh, a good part-time job. There are people who actually uh, do many different part-time jobs after school. Uh, for example, here in, here in Kurdistan, there are many uh, students who have shops. There are many uh, students who, uh, who are like barbers, like uh, hairdressers. Um, whole, like, though, like there are other students who actually uh, do online jobs such as social media assistant, like uh, these kind of... Uh, jobs are so popular at the moment here in Kurdistan. There are, there are many others. You can uh, write um, any other part-time job in, like, in the comment section under this video. So now we're going to jump to word power, which is all about jobs. That means we're going to learn more jobs with this exercise. We learned a few here. Now we're going to learn more. So, uh, as you can see, we have different categories here. Office work, food service, travel industry, entertainment business. Four of these have already been placed in their correct categories. Um, so, first I'm going to explain the four, like these four, and then we will go one by one and put them into the correct place. Accountant. Someone who deals with financial um, like affairs of a company maybe or an organ organization cashier is someone who actually uh, collects money from customers maybe chef is someone who uh, like who cook okay and then we have dancer someone who dances and then we have flight attendant flight attendant is someone who works on a plane uh, helps people uh, on, on a plane, basically giving them food, help, support when they need anything. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have accountant uh, placed under office work, food service placed under cashier, and we have dancer placed on uh, like placed under entertainment business, travel industry. We have uh, we have it under travel like an, uh, flight attendant under travel industry. Okay, so now we're going to move. Chef can be placed at, like in the food service because it's related to food and cooking. Musician can be placed here, okay, because it's all about entertainment. Uh, pilot, again, here, travel industry because it's all about traveling. Uh, receptions, we can actually place that. Um, maybe office work. Or maybe even travel industry if it's when it comes to its office but uh, if we don't have an office here we can just simply say since we have office work here it can be placed here I mean this is the correct category so uh, 
we have server server is someone who actually uh, or like uh, service people in a restaurant so we can play server here okay like in uh, under food service singer is someone who sings songs so uh, uh, we can we placed here under this category we have tour guide related to travel industry someone who helps guides people uh, when they are on tour uh, web designer can be placed at the office work uh, it's about someone who designs websites okay now last thing for this um, lesson will be this I would like you to add two more jobs to each category then you don't need to do this but I want you to do to add two more to each category here okay so we have all these we placed each of these ones under correct categories I want you to think of more jobs and put them under or place them under each category okay so you can write uh, the jobs for me in the comments section under this video see if you have understood or not and i will help you thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video